In this video, we will show you how to define and use input variables. In Rocky, they can be especially useful for complex or repetitive project setups. You can make them simpler, easier to verify, and or parameterized when coupled with Workbench or other products. Creating an input variable is easy. First, locate the Rocky field in which you want to use it. Ensure the units for the field are set the way you want. Then, directly into the field itself, type a name and press enter. In the dialog, enter the value you want, and then click create variable. The variable name is replaced by the numerical value in the parameter field. If you ever want to see the full variable name, just click within the field. The new variable is displayed in the expressions variables panel on the input tab. Under variables, it is saved without units for use in other fields. You can edit both the value and the name by double clicking the information you want to change. Under expressions, the variable name and units applied in that particular usage are saved along with the location of its use. Once created, you can use it in other places in the Rocky UI. If you do, the information in the panel is updated accordingly. And for Rocky projects connected through ANSYS Workbench, you can use the Design Points feature to replace the value of your Rocky input variables with new ones. Once defined, you can then run the new simulations from within Workbench. To learn more about input variables, refer to the Rocky user manual. You can use the search tab to find the information you need. For more information about Rocky, visit our website.